Hi there everyone and welcome to a just a quick video I wanted to share with you. Um, it's basically five free pieces of software to help you get started in YouTube. Um, these are all software that I've used or and still use. I don't think there's any of these I don't use because they are the easiest thing and, and I've not found anything at this point to replace them that's worth spending the money on. Uh, so I just thought a chance to show people what I use. I will be putting the links in the video description as well, so that you can try them out um, for yourself. As I say, because they're going to, it's going to cost you nothing. Some of them do have paid versions, which I'll explain as we get to each of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to work through them in kind of the order you would use them. So the first thing you would do is once you've got your idea, is record it. Um, for that one use a piece of software that makes of OBS and from speaking to other YouTubers and watching other videos it seems to be the software of choice and it's also the software that people use for streaming as well um, there's this or there's also a Streamlabs version of the same piece of software um, I prefer this the original one at the moment I need to do a bit more work with the Streamlabs one um, but this one is you know you can set it up as you can see it for all the scenes um, this is the old one for this video uh, the devices you use the sound transitions um, all the things in here so things like so all your settings of course for the for everything are in here as well um, again so I mean this is it I'm actually showing live the recording which is something you know, unusual to do so yeah it's it's i mean it's a great piece of software it does like a bit of setting up i find it a bit complicated to start with um but there is some amazing um youtube videos that will help people do it and that's what i use to get my settings and just keep playing around with it spent a bit of time and i still find new bits and pieces to do with it so yeah so there's a bit of to record i am assuming because you've got a computer that you're doing this and this is more for that style of recording than maybe handsets but if you recorded a video on your phone and of course you're going to edit on a computer this is where you go um the other good thing with this is you know, this i normally use it this way with a one shot um for doing gaming but when i'm doing things like of um, my just talking series of course again working with the different transitions I would normally have them prep and have you using studio mode like this so that I can have, you know, have the next one queued up. You know, like the, that, as you can see, the next one is ready to go, uh, ready for me to transition into it. So that's OBS Studio, ideal for recording, uh, great piece of software. We then move on. Once you've got the video, of course, you're going to be doing some editing with it. And for that, I use DaVinci Resolve. Again, this is the free version, and currently it's on a beta version as well, because they've just updated it in the last month or so. But there's also um, a paid version if you go more professional, but that is more for the professional type thing. But this does me, I do it on the absolute limit of my computing capability. I could do with probably a slightly better graphics card and that is going to be hopefully my first um, purchase as soon as I'm in a position to do so because it would be make just life a little bit easier but yeah DaVinci Resolve and as you can see you've got the you know, multiple tracks um, for you know the sound that you know video you can get in you know more bits and pieces of graphics anyone who used to watch my some of my older videos you'll see there was bits with you know the, the like subscribe and comment stuff that was all done through putting in extra tracks um my intros my well most some of my just talking intro and my outros for all my videos have been built in um this as well the only one that hasn't is my my standard intro at the moment but again free piece of software i love it i swear by it you know you can see you've got the stages you can literally build by putting your media and editing it going through all the different bits and pieces and it keeps just getting you know better and better I uh, highly recommend if you're looking for an editor that's free that will deliver you know good proper 
your products without you know blowing the world so where do we go next so once you of course you've edited your video you'll of course be getting ready to upload it to YouTube um, or the media of your choice and what I do is and this was recommended to me by again Heisen blog who keeps getting recommendations in my videos but he was the man behind you know this one and that's canva.com it's a website um, it just allows you and you can see a little, the library there that I've built up of thumbnails for you know different programs dipping at different episodes of stuff um, I don't think there's anything there that I haven't put out because I've got some trial stuff I've been doing for different things and things um, but it just gives um, a nice easy way of designing graphics of different things um, you can import your own stuff into it this is the free version but if you pay again you can expand to get more storage and more bits and pieces um, but as it is I haven't paid for any of these bits at this time but it's a nice way of doing as I said your thumbnails or stuff for Twitter, I think I might, you'll see on, if you went to my Twitter post, you'll see the uh, channel schedule that was done in this as well. Um, you know, it seems like the giveaway I'm doing at 500 has also been done in this. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a good, good piece of free software. So go and check that out if you're looking for a way to do your thumbnails nice and easily. The next program is... Uh, a replacement for Microsoft Windows Paint, Windows Microsoft Paint, even it's called, and it's called Paint.net. Uh, again, the video description will be low. It's a piece of software I use for doing graphics and texts. Um, that if I can't do it within likes of Resolve or Canva, um, but it's nice and handy, nice and simple. You can import all the Windows text into it so if you've got a particular font that you like you can put it in and as you can see I used it to the, the five pieces of software to help start in YouTube stuff in here uh, I made it of course transparent so that it would then fit over just the standard background um, at the start of the video and at this in here and again later on but it's in a sense another free program that download use it's just really, really handy. I find, as I said, there is if you can't, if you and if you want to look for fonts of a particular type that they're maybe not in in these things. Uh, I don't do anything complicated. But I'm not graphically minded, even though I've done most of my own graphics. But again, it just makes it a bit easier. And of course, the last piece of software is it's more of a website and a bit and a, an extension bar for if you use Chrome, which. I do um, is TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy comes as a free version, um, but I must say, is I've now stepped up. I do a, I've got a version through another site I use, which I'll feature in um, another video like this very soon. I plan to do a series of these type videos, uh, but this thing, the TubeBuddy, I used the free version for a long time. And what it allows you to do is, you know, analyze how you are doing, you know, how to make things. There's lots of tools. The one I use is things like the tag suggestions. So, of course, if you put in, your, once you put in your titles and your description, and then maybe a couple of tags, it will suggest other ways. So, if you're doing, so a football manager, it would make, you know, it's a let's play, it would maybe suggest, you know, you put in let's play in football manager, it would then say do other ones to do with that. Um, and it also suggests you can take him right if my time is worth X, it'll tell you. So, I mean, it shows here that I've used about 52 hours, um, or I've saved 52 hours in the last while. I think it's only in the last 20, last 30 days. No, I can't, it must be longer than that. But again, it shows you the different bits and pieces that I've used I mean, tags, brand alerts, channel backup, suggestions, lists. But there's loads and loads of tools you can even see. You know, valuations and all sorts as well. Um, also, in videos, you can only get access to lots of shortcuts all in one place, and 
you know, things like keeping an eye on milestones as you get near bits and pieces, you can announce them. Uh, it's just, again, an all round great package. There's a free version, but you can also get um, slightly more from other versions. And again, you can see things like sort of um, analytics on other people's videos as well. It also gives things like best practice. So if you're making sure you're you know, doing all things right, you know, the type of votes, mentions in Twitter, you know, how many videos they've been suggesting you can see the tags you can see also have a look at how the channel is doing compared to yours as well i have blanked out the channel i looked at for this uh, just because of you know it wasn't i just picked one at random but it was you know you can see how they're doing you can see how many subscribers they've got how many subscribers they've got over the last while um so you can see if you're doing well it's it's a it's a very very piece good piece of software as I said there is a f most of this comes in the free version but as I said there's you can get different versions as well and as I said I highly recommend it if you are doing YouTube or anything like that because it just helps you keep an eye on you know different bits of you know data for your channel so as I said these were are all you know, saying five free pieces of software and stuff to help you know start up doing this YouTube malarkey um, and I hope you find them useful um, but if you do uh, find any of you useful please do hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you know leave some comments below let me know your thoughts let me know if you want to see more of these type of videos in the near future uh, but again thank you for your support and I will see you all very soon for another video bye bye for now